Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, as you can see, I've got some uh, new kits to share with you guys today. Uh, I have tentative plans to build most of what you see right here. And I say that is because there's always, always something new and exciting on the horizon that might push some of these back a little bit. Now, some of these kits are just arriving right now in the United States. They might be out in other parts of the world, I'm not sure on that, but uh, a few of them are arriving in the United States. And as for the Tamiya kits, these are all brand new kits that'll be out probably in about a month, two months, depending on which one it is. But we'll talk further about that. So what I thought I would do is since I'm just gonna do a quick little preview video for them, I'm gonna open up each one of these kits, show you the sprues, talk about it a little bit, show you, get excited about what's coming out. Now also keep in mind too, uh, I was just been notified that Tamiya, their new 109 G6, will be getting a sample copy of that one very soon too. And that's the new uh, airplane kit, 40A scale but they used micro magnets throughout it so the entire thing comes apart opening the cowl the engines all really super detailed so excited about getting that plus also they have a Panzer IV that's coming out in 16th scale now it is their uh, RC kit turned into a static somewhat static model and I say that is because it's missing all the RC guts inside like uh, like the static version that you see back here of this but from what I understand too, they've actually put a small motor inside of it. So if you get it all built up, and you may not want the RC version, but this way you can turn it on, it can you know, cr go over things, crush things, whatever you want to do it like that. But you'll actually be able to you know, get the, the suspension and all that stuff working. So if you spent all that time building on it, it's really cool to kind of show it off. So well, uh, what we'll do right now is uh, start showing the inside of the kit. So uh, let's get started on it. Okay, the kit we're going to look at now is the uh, the new 35th scale Merkavo Mark I from TACOM. Uh, this is an all brand new kit from TACOM. And also one of the things that I like about doing the Mark I that I plan to build up is this kit is completely accurate to not have anti-skid on it. When these uh, the original tanks came out they did not start putting the anti-skid on them during on the Mark I. So it's not in the kit and it's actually accurate that way. So let's take a look at the inside parts. Okay, the first parts we're going to take a look at uh, are the hull, the lower hull, the upper part of the hull, and the turret. And as you can see, this is molded as a bathtub style hull. Uh, one thing I really appreciate is, though, all of these little tiny parts on the side, which a lot of companies will mold as after, you know, as other parts you have to glue on, all of that's molded right into the, uh, the side of the hull. Uh, you have nice big sponson top bottoms on the right here, so you don't have to worry about filling any of that stuff. And the upper hull is absolutely beautiful too. Very, very nicely detailed. And checking for fit, looks like that just pops right into place on it too. So just gluing two parts together and taking a look at all the extra detail of the latch assemblies, the, uh, the handles, all of that stuff is just, just absolutely gorgeous on this kit. And then we'll come over to the, uh, the top of the turret, as you can see right here. Um, it's got all the built-in latches, all of that stuff all molded right in and done beautifully, too. Because, uh, you know, this stuff, when they give it to you as a separate part, sometimes you end up gluing it on, and it, it doesn't even look any better than the way it can come out right here, and that saves you all that work. And even this little part, this is, this is kind of cool. This is actually molded in already, too. So obviously this has been done with slide molding to get all of these holes going this way plus parts coming off on it. So beautifully done, TACOM. Okay, next we're going to look at uh, suspension and wheels that come inside here. As you can see right here, the suspension looks very, very nicely done. And small connection points for all of that. And the wheels with the rubber already molded on look really nice. Not positive how that ring is going to fit into it. Hopefully it's a, a ring maybe for, this, for these wheels right here. Might be the edge on that. When we get into the instructions, we'll look closely at it. And you get two sprues of that. Now we're going to take a look, a closer look, I should say, at the tracks. Now, as you can see, just by the sprue right here, we have link and length tracks. So you've got two long runs right here, which will make up the, uh, the top portion, which will be covered by the side skirts anyway. You've got the bottom port would all be on the ground, so, but the detail is very, very nice in all of those. 
And then you have all, these are the parts that will go up from the bottom with maybe a track or two, and then the rest of the tracks will wrap around the drive sprocket and return idler. Now, this is the other thing I wanna show you guys too, since we're talking about the tracks. Trump or TACOM has given you these uh, two little guides that you can basically put the, the idler and the drive sprocket on, build your tracks completely around this form this, uh, that they've given you with it, uh, except for the bottom piece, looking at the instructions, you'll be able to get them all to dry, pop them off, with the drive sprocket nailer and just slide the whole piece right on as one big piece. Uh, love this idea that we can go ahead and do this separately and then paint the, top, um, the tracks up and then pop them on after we're all done. So another great little point on this kit. Really liking that they've included this with it. Okay, and the next uh, sprue we're gonna take a quick look at here is probably one of the most impressive parts of the entire kit to me at least. Uh, and we have basically the lower part of the uh, the turret here, as you can see. But then we have our, our bins in the back, and it has the ball and chain armor, three-dimensionally molded, all into place. And I'll get it as close as possible right there so you can see it. Uh, I think it looks great. The chain is hollowed out, and I'll show you some of the different pieces there. That is such a time saver because so many times companies try to make it in photo etch and it looks two dimensional and kind of cheesy looking. This looks wonderful right here. Once we paint that up and since it's hollowed out and the ball itself is three dimensionally round, looks really nice. And one other thing I'll show you real fast too is the, uh, the one of the machine guns that's up on the upper top. And you've got your mortar right here, but the machine gun really, really looks nice on it. And the last sprue we'll take a, a closer look at is the uh, the side skirts, which are all molded as one. We have our stretcher, which is a very common thing to see on Israeli tanks. And finally, the barrel. Now, the barrel is molded in two pieces, uh, but very nicely done. Hopefully, you can see the detail that's in there. It is going to be a little bit of a pain taking the seam out of the middle, and I wish it would have been more of a stack-type barrel slide molded, but I, I understand why, because of all the intricacies on it, that it'll be a little tough to mold. Uh, now, this one is tentative to be built, and I say tentative because there's always things that can come up that'll push my schedule around a little bit, but uh, expect to see this built with probably within the next two weeks. Okay, the next kit we're going to take a uh, further look at is the new Tamiya 140A scale German heavy tractor of the SS100. Now, you might remember this uh, this vehicle. I, I made one of those in 35th scale, and it's the, uh, the vehicle that towed the V2, um, that big launch platform that I built a while back. Now, this is the 40A scale one that Tamiya is producing, and it should be out, from what I understand, in about early December, late November, so not too, too far from now. The Germans produced about a thousand of the, a little over a thousand of these, and it could tow up to 20 tons. So it's a really, really heavy duty vehicle. It could tow the 219 or the ME 110s. They would use it to tow uh, German 88. So just a just a really big, massive vehicle. Now this kit I'll probably recommend too for someone who's just starting out in modeling, especially, or if you're going to be doing a 48 scale diorama. This would be a great little vehicle. You got the uh, the the cab is all slide molded. So it's all one piece, ready to go. And we have the, the glass components in here with the windshield wipers already molded into place. And the reason I say I recommend this is because it's gonna be a very simple kit to put together. You basically have three sprues total, and then the chassis, uh, beautifully detailed molded uh, parts on it. So you got your wheels and things there. You've got your lower chassis right here where all of this is all molded in, which you know would be underneath the vehicle. All of these parts are all nice molded. And then you've got one other set of uh, wheel sprues. So all in all, this kit, I will, I will be building this kit up and this will probably take a grand total of just a couple of hours of build time. And then, you know, you're spending the time to weather it and detail and paint it, things like that. And uh, might even put this on the uh, little diorama with the uh, ME109 when it comes out. And this kit right here I'm really excited about as well. This is Tamiya's brand new 112 scale Ducati 1199. Uh, it, this kit's another one that'll be out fairly soon, probably the beginning of December is from what I understand. Uh, I've been waiting for a while for this one to come out, uh, a little bit with apprehension too, because 
these are such beautiful, beautiful works of art, the way Tamiya molds these. And I've been wanting to do a motorcycle for a while, and when they offered this one up, I said definitely. So I was a little scared about, you know, doing painting and things like that because it's something a little bit different. But after doing the car kit, I got even more excited about this. So what I'll do is I'll kind of show you what's inside this kit. Once again, a very, very simple design, uh, only three sprues again, three main sprues, I should say. So we have all of our body parts all ready to go here, as well as this piece comes separated in a separate bag, and you can just see how, how beautiful they've molded this piece up. And here's the, uh, the black sprue that comes inside, which is all your wheels or parts of the, uh, the body and things like that. And then finally, the silver sprue, which is your entire engine detail, your, your front forks, uh, brake calipers, chain, things like that. And just, just look at some of the detail that goes into this kit. It's just absolutely wonderful. Now, I'll go into a little bit more depth when I actually do the build of each video. Right now, I'm just kind of going to give you a, just a, a once over on it. Then you have your, your glass components. And then we have the rest of the accessory pieces to show you. Uh, we have absolutely wonderfully, beautifully designed and um, cast rubber tires for this. In fact, my opinion, no one does rubber tires better than Tamiya. This is just absolutely wonderful. And then there you got your front tire there. Uh, you got your decals, and these have been printed up by Cartograph, so you know they're going to be really fine quality. You've got some uh, some line for the engine, or maybe for the brakes, according on this little micro screwdriver and a bunch of little screws because from what I understand a lot of these kits can be taken partially apart and finally you've got a real metal spring and some masks that are all ready to go so what we'll be able to do on this kit is paint the entire you know cowl white put our masks in the place paint the rest of it red and then using our decals to go right up to the edge we should hopefully have a uh, really clean paint job on this so I'm gonna be starting this kit up too very soon it's probably gonna come out a little longer because I want to make sure we do it right with all the different paint colors for the engine and things like that almost forgot to show you guys this too we have the metal transfers for the uh, the mirrors on the kit as well and finally, the last kit we're going to take a quick look at is a new kit from Tamiya, but it actually has the parts are made and molded by ICM. So it's, um, from what I understand, it's a fairly new kit even for ICM. It's only been out for a few years, so the, the moldings look really well on it. So I'll just quickly just go over the sprues with you on that. You've got your uh, rubber tires, which look really well. you got your wheel hubs. And all the side molded of the side parts of the body even this the uh, leaf springs are all molded into place there on it uh, some of the upper parts of the body and finally we have the sprue with the gun shovels all the accessories on it right there so the molding actually looks really good on this kit it's kind of different too because you don't see much much until recently a lot of French stuff coming out so I wanted to just give you guys a quick little uh, view inside of the model uh, this also is due out sometime in November too so something a little different and if you're into French uh, vehicles which I've actually built now that I think of it quite a few of them in the last couple of months so uh, it'd be a nice one to add on to the uh, collection so as you guys can see I've got uh, quite a bit of uh, work ahead of me here the I hope you enjoyed the video today. I, I try to make them as fun and as exciting, showing you all the new kits as possible. And of course, you know, we'll be building all these up. So we'll go in a little bit more depth, especially as we start to build the models. So, hey, I want to really thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of my subscribers and viewers out there. And hey, this is a great hobby. Have some fun with it. And don't let all the, uh, the negative people get to you. So just go out there and have some fun. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned because you know I have a lot more videos coming.